and new for you tonight at 6, freight train fears. Lawmakers are getting more and more worried about trains loaded with oil. And this is what happened when KCRA 3 tried to question a top railroad executive. I wonder Scott, if I might ask really good comments. You know, why don't you get a hold of our public affairs person? Can you tell us why you were concerned about releasing the specific schedule information? Not giving up much there. One state senator who called for today's hearing at the Capitol said that she walked away even more concerned about the danger of oil trains in California. But as lawmakers learn, there's very little they can do to stop these trains or even know where they are. KCRA3's David Beenick is live in Midtown Sacramento, where these trains have also been a concern. David? Lisa, good evening. This is one of the rail lines that crisscrossed the Sacramento region. And the rail officials who testified at today's hearing said they do try to avoid populated areas like this when deciding where to send their oil trains. But they said if they want to, they can. And there's no way to know even when they're coming. Jan Ryan lives near the railroad tracks that run along the edge of Midtown Sacramento. It says she used to love to hear the trains go by. It's just, you know. The usual train sound that you, you know, mm. But not anymore, says Ryan. Not since she learned oil trains might be using these tracks. I don't want to be incinerated in my own home. At today's hearing at the state capitol, transportation officials testified such fears might be justified, considering the amount of oil coming into California by rail has nearly doubled since just last year. The, the risks are very high. I mean, it doesn't take much more than to see the pictures of what's happened in North America during the last year to understand the risks. Uh, these things explode when they derail with any force at all. Were there to be uh, a derailment in the Sacramento uh, rail yard, uh, a very scandalous distance from here, uh, everyone in downtown Sacramento, including the state capitol, would be threatened. But experts also testified only the federal government can regulate railroads. So far, state emergency officials have not even been able to get rail companies to tell them when and where the oil trains will be. That's unacceptable. They need that information uh, earlier than later. I think the public has the right to know, too. An executive from BNSF Railroad, who testified at today's hearing, at first declined to answer our questions about the shipment schedules. The first responders say this is critical information for them to know. Can you tell us why you don't want to release it? <laughs> Later, he said rail companies need to keep oil train shipments a secret in order to prevent them from becoming targets. That's the danger, you know, a, a terrorist or somebody who's you know, misguided or has some bad intention. I think that's, that's the concern we have. Earlier this year, the federal government ordered the rail companies to start releasing detailed information about their oil shipments. But so far, the state officials say the reports they're getting aren't very useful and often come days after the trains have already arrived. Live in Sacramento, David Bean, KCRA 3 News. Well, you did get some answers tonight, David. Thank you.